Hi everyone. On behalf of the Harmony Collaboration, I extend our sincere thanks to the Ontario Historical Society for this amazing award. Congratulations to all the nominees and OHS members whose good work helps to preserve Ontario's culture and heritage. My heartfelt gratitude goes to our colleagues at the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, whose friendship, support and trust in the project and in the Harmony Collaboration made this work possible. We acknowledge that we live and work on the traditional territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit and we gratefully dedicate our work to them. Thanks go to my Mississaugas counterpart, Carolyn King, our collaborating artists, especially Stephen Campbell, Nancy Walker, Kathy Jamison and Caitlin LaForm. To Harmony's program managers, Joanna Dindishikwe Simmons and JT Rivera, and to Harmony's board of directors. Thanks also to our tireless volunteers who contributed invaluable services simply because they believed in the project. To the OHS Honours and Awards Committee, the carefully chosen words of the citation perfectly capture our aspirations and our passionate belief in the power of the performing arts. To be recognized in this way is high praise indeed. The project began as a group of music and theatre artists who wanted to learn more about Indigenous culture years before reconciliation with Indigenous peoples was a hot button topic. We shared a deep belief in the power of the performing arts. An artistic collaboration in respectful dialogue with First Nations would be our journey and the Harmony Collaboration was born. We were very fortunate to become acquainted with the Mississaugas of the Credit Culture Committee, who were willing to collaborate with us on an artistic creation. Through a series of meetings, the Mississaugas and Harmony together became stakeholders in a collaborative project that looked like this. The Mississaugas had previously commissioned professional artists to paint a mural on the walls of their Lloyd S. King Elementary School. The mural tells of their creation story. The purpose of that mural commission was to train and engage aspiring elementary school artists to share Indigenous knowledge through art. Inspired by the mural, Harmony and the Mississaugas Culture Committee developed a project to create a music theater interpretation of the creation story told in the mural. That project became the full length music theater production entitled First. The project was very successful and grew. One full length performance of First became a launching pad for the creation of a series of short excerpted plays developed for performance by the Mississaugas youth. An after school youth theatre group was established to train young members of the community in theatre arts performance. Laterally, we developed an additional education program. Translated versions of the excerpted plays were written, English to Anishinaabe Moan, and are being used as language teaching tools for the First Nations youth. It's impossible not to be enthusiastic about the possibilities. In closing, I'd like to thank the Ontario Historical Society who assisted us on our journey in so many ways. From the beginning, with the initial OHS incorporation process, real support and encouragement was offered at every opportunity. You share our passionate belief in the power of grassroots organizations. On behalf of my colleagues at the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation and the Harmony Collaboration, I'm very honoured to accept this award. Thank you all.